Welcome to our usual hovers. I'm Economica, and today I can play for the game A Lonely Ride, which is set within the same universe as Hello. My name is Zach. Where we awaken in a boat with no recollection of how we got there, and only mysterious woman to keep us company. I'm not sure where I am. It feels like I've just woken from a long nap. I'm in a boat though, so that's a start, I suppose. There's a pretty woman sitting across from me. She looks familiar, but everything is still so hazy in my mind that I can't seem to place her. Oh, you've come too. Don't worry, you're safe. Oh, well I feel loads better now. I'm sure I can definitely trust you, right? I mean, you've got such stunning murderous eyes. Who are you? My name is Yuri. Huh. That name feels familiar somehow. It's a fairly common name. It's pretty. Thank you. That's very sweet. Yuri, can you tell me where I am? Right now, we're traversing a liminal space. Like the back rooms or something. Not quite. You've died, and I'm taking you to the other side. Oh, so this is some form of purgatory then? Wait, what? No, I... Neither of us have a choice in this matter. Can't you just turn the boat around? I can't. What are you anyway? Metaphorically, I'm a cog in the natural order. Literally though, I'm what would be called a grim reaper. Did you kill me? Oh, come on me, I know you're upset, but everyone knows the Grim Reekers are just collectors. Most of the time. No. So, how did I die? There was an accident. Oh, God. I'm starting to remember. I was out with my friend. I was on a ladder. Wait, is my friend okay? Physically, yes. Poor Zack. He is such a softy. He's going to be a wreck. Wait. Zack is in Zacky Boy? From Hello, My Name is Zack? Was this post or pre him becoming a uh, little bit of a murderer? How interesting. You focus on him even though you're the one on the boat. Well, I mean, exactly. I'm on the boat. I'm already dead. Might as well just focus on the guy that's still alive, right? Oh! <laughs> See? Well, that's actually my logic. There it is. I'm already dead. There's no sense worrying about myself. Right? How pragmatic of you. There's only so much I can control. True. Do you know what's on the other side? Am I going to hell? I don't know. I can't set foot on the other side. Why not? My job is to guide souls to the other side and to keep records of human life. But why can't you cross over? Well, if I've learned anything from my experiences with Pirates of the Caribbean, she leaves the boat. She's most likely going to grow tentacles. My being a reaper is a punishment from the judges. Why does she look so sad? Wait. Yuri, why do you look so sad? The plight of a reaper is to watch our loved ones pass on without us. We can't follow them. We can never join them. It's lonely. Wait, I know why she's so familiar. Yuri, why is it you? I was assigned to your case. Why are you the one taking me away? Because I asked to be assigned to you. Why? I wanted to make sure that you arrived safely. I wanted to make sure you weren't afraid to go on. Why do you have to do any of this at all? You'd never hurt anyone. This is the price I have to pay. For taking someone else's life. Wait, you... I should be dead, you know. I was murdered, and in my fury, 
I cursed the person who killed me with my dying breath. It seems like such a natural thing, wishing death upon someone who killed you, right? Yeah. Well, someone was listening that night. My wish came true. In excess, the person who killed me died. The people around them died. Everyone was swallowed by a bright, swirling miasma of colour. That was the form of my wish took. Okay, but that wasn't particularly your fault. You only cursed your murderer, right? How is that your fault? Curses come home to roost. In exchange for wishing for their death, I am now bound to this for eternity. But it means I can guide you. So were you like my childhood friend or something? It means that I can say goodbye. I I'm not ready. We're already here, though. She's right. Yuri helps me up. But she doesn't leave her boat. She really can't touch the other side. Before I go, she gently touches my cheek and says goodbye to me for one final time. There's a pang in my chest as she begins her lonely ride back. Be well, me. Zack and I won't forget you. But who are you? So, she clearly knows Zack then, right? As in personally. I'm gonna wonder if she's the one that Zack was on the phone to in his game. Oh, I'm curious. Okay, I mean, it's not like I had much going on. Your friend would want you to be kinder to yourself, I think. He would. From what I observed, he really treasures you. Yeah. Why does she look so sad? It's not like... It feels like something is missing from my memories. Yuri, why do you look so sad? My duties can be emotionally taxing. That was evasive. It's in my nature. Reapers are a clandestine bunch. Hold on. Yuri? Yuri Aizomi? Please don't! Why is it you? Why are you the one taking me to hell? I'm not taking you to hell. But why you? I thought... Yuri, we were friends. We are! Please take me back, Yuri. I'm not ready to go. I'm not ready to say goodbye either. But there is absolutely nothing I can do to stop this boat. I can't defy the natural order of things. I'm scared, Yuri. You're okay. You're safe with me right now. What's on the other side? The judges. They determine where you go after this. Can't you come with me? I can't. But you won't need me. I do, though. You will be okay. Though Zack and I will miss you terribly. Oh, that's a point then. We already know Zack's a murderer, right? So he won't be crossing over either. Oh man. I know there's two of my friends, apparently. Will you two be alright? That's the price of loving someone, Meek. Neither Zack nor myself have a problem paying that price. I can see the other side. Yuri helps me up, but doesn't leave her boat. She really can't touch the other side. Before I go, she gently kisses my cheek and promises I'll be okay one final time. I feel like she's right, but... It's sad to watch her start her lonely ride back to the waking world. Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of a lonely ride. I'm still curious though if this really is the person Zack was in contact with. But that does lead to questions on how Zack can contact Purgatory. If you enjoyed that playthrough, I'd greatly appreciate you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, have a spooky day and I'll catch you next time guys.